The OnePlus 6 just got its official Android 9 Pie a beta update. So in this video, we're gonna be checking out the second update release of Oxygen OS based on Android 9. Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech. Let's keep the intro snappy. Got to giveaway, link in the description. And down there, you also have the bell icon. Click on it to keep the good stuff coming. Android 9 Pie on Oxygen OS brings in quite a few new changes. The most easily visible one being the notification shade. Pull it down and you can see that the entire thing looks cleaner, more material designy. Is that even a word? Did it just make it up? Do you guys see any design change? Let me know in the comments down below. On to the next set of changes, we have the revamped volume slider. It now controls the media volume by default instead of the ringer. That's something I've wanted for ages. And now a bonus feature, tapping on the media icon lets you mute it with one touch. Moving on, we have the new navigation system. Now this one isn't enabled by default, but once you enable it from within the settings menu, well, this is how the interface looks. The recent button is gone, and instead of the usual circle, we have this still shaped home button. Tap on it once to go home and swipe up for recent apps. You can also find all of your running apps here and you can swipe along to cycle through all of them. Now, personally, I quite like this gesture based navigation system, but then I want to know what you guys think. So here's a poll. Let us know if you like the old gesture system better than the new one. Now, some of you may be thinking, Ash, where are the new features? These are all the same stuff we've seen on the Pixel and Android Pie. Well, this is just the second beta, guys. Hold on. As of now, I'm just happy to see OnePlus 6 running so smoothly with Pi on it. Do note that Google's AI launcher features aren't here yet. OnePlus has disabled the second swipe up for the app draw from the recent menu and done away with the predictive row of apps as well. Now, personally, I haven't spent enough time on Pi to get used to these features, so I don't really miss them. Okay, time for some closing thoughts. The already fast OnePlus 6 seemed a tad faster. Maybe it's placebo or maybe it's the numerous optimizations under the hood. Uh, they have kind of given Pi a slight edge over Oreo. I can't really say for sure. Would you guys like to see a speed test once the final build rolls out? OnePlus 6 Oreo versus OnePlus 6 Android Pi. Do comment down below, let us know if that is something you'd like to see. And by the way, my personal favorite Pi feature, Adaptive Rotation Lock, is here as well. So overall, even as this is a beta build, it looks and feels quite polished. And in the time I spent with this device, we didn't really face any major hiccups. If you do end up flashing this, do let me know how your experience is. I'll leave a download link as well as detailed instructions in the description below. So do check that out if you want to uh, want this beta on your OnePlus 6. And since you are down there, why not share this video? It doesn't cost you anything, helps us out a lot. Of course, thumbs up, thumbs down based on what you feel about this video. Uh, subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking that bell icon. And that's it. It's time I bid you adieu. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech. And I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.